Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19. I'm Andy and this is the let's play on well, episode 1 on Rolling Hills. Um, so the reason why I started this let's play or I'm thinking or doing it is that basically um, well I wanted an American map so here's an American map. Uh, the basis of this let's play is um, a YouTube channel called um, Millennial, Millennial Farmer which mm, a lot of you might have seen so I'm sort of basing what equipment I have on loosely on uh, what they are using so the John Deere little car here and the a Dodge Ram um, 3500, they have a 3600, I think. Um, we have a John Deere 8270, I think they have an 8260. They don't have this, but we need one of those. They have a John Deere spray, which we don't have as of yet in FS19. So, one of these. They have a truck with one of these on, where I choose this one instead. Uh, they have an old version of uh, John Deere as a front loader, but I use the in-game 6135. I think they have a 60, no 50, 60, 60 something, an older version. They have a, uh, not a New Holland skid steer, but I choose a New Holland. Uh, they have uh, it's not a John Deere plow, but this is a kind of cool plow. Header, they don't have a draper header. They have a regular, but I choose to in-game with a Draper. John Deere Cultivator, it's not exactly one they have. They have I, th I think they have a little bit of a shorter planter than this, but I thought this was kind of cool. So, And the closest thing I could find, so this um, is the planter I'm using. And uh, let's see. And all of the, these equipment this equipment is stuff you can find the link to them are you can find the links to these in the description by the way as always uh, they don't have this truck but they have a red truck so just a red truck and I think they have a sort of this uh, not a Wilson they have a oh, I can't remember the name and then they have a John Deere they don't have this version but I use the in-game versions because I like them and I, I don't think the other John Deere combines that are out there are as good um, also I'm using a new set of textures for plow cultivating and seeding so you'll notice that um, oh hello little birdies uh, I basically cheated and got a bunch of money and I bought the fields and all the equipment that would be sort of like the ones that the millennial farmer has. It's not completely accurate in a way because uh, not all of the equipment exists for farming simulator 19. But some of it does. Um, I bought, bought a bunch of fields and I basically reduced our debt to zero. So. We don't have any money in the bank, but we don't have any debt either. And we have all the equipment we need to do arables, so. And we are doing that, so I harvested a few fields. Uh, oh, also, I'm gonna show you that later. Um, I got a bunch of... Um, some tractors, of course. And two combines. Um, this one, it's not the one they have. I think they have a bigger one, or a uh, more powerful one. It's close enough. They have a John Deere uh, overloader. Um, I just used the in-game one. And they have, uh, I think this is pretty accurate. I can't remember the 8360, 8360 maybe they have. Pretty close. 
Um, and this is a, a chiseled plow, which I thought was cool. So that is plowing away. We don't need to plow our fields. I did turn off the lime usage too because I don't think you do spend a lot of time liming in this part of the world. I think this is based on the Wisconsin part of the world. I think it's pretty cool. There's a bunch of maps. I know lots of people are playing. I usually play small and obscure maps, but I know a lot of people play the Rolling Hills map. But I think this is a pretty cool one. So if we look at the farms we own. We own the Mitchell farm here, and we own these fields, which I have plow I used. I've harvested nine, seventeen. I'm doing eight now. Uh, I think two and thirteen. Uh, two is also ready for harvest. And so. We don't own 14. I would like to. How much is 14? 130. That's not too bad. Maybe we should buy that. I'll take. No, I shall go sell off some some stuff I own. Um. Let's see, where is it? Here. No, not that one. This one. So I'm going to show you our our uh, grain silage uh, silo sorry which is pretty awesome actually uh, so this is the main farmyard where I keep I'm gonna keep all the stuff here's a little road to our silo so I bought a bunch of add-on silos there was this big silo in the middle there and it held like 400,000 liters I think then I bought a bunch of add add-ons so currently we can ho have a million liters of whatever we want want to so have some soybeans quite a lot of soybeans so and that's a pretty okay oh that looks weird when it comes out of the nozzle there hmm. uh, anyway uh, so we have a bit of um, soybeans we can go sell off and that will bring up The 700,000 liters of corn is a lot of corn. Is that correct? Didn't they have how much corn do we have? Two, no, 200. Don't know where this is located. Silos owned, silos other, a total capacity. 160. Slightly weird. Work tool needs to be unloaded. We'll go and do that first. So that small corn header, which is okay. Uh, and this is also s pretty close to the corn header they're using in the millennial farmer farm. We in the world of millennial farmer farm farm farm. Yeah. Ah, you get it. That looks really weird because the, the unloading uh, unloading pipe is so long when you have a small header on it. It, it looks okay when you have a big wide header, but with this one it looks sort of weird. I know, it looks weird. Um, so, the idea of this list let's play is basically to just do arrow balls. And probably mostly corn. I like corn. Um, 
I don't think that will be okay. That's a good, good base. This. to being full, so we can unload that. Um, so maybe I shouldn't buy that field by the way. We have a bunch of fields and I think we seem to be mostly doing soybeans or corn on these ones, which seems extremely stereotyped to <laughs> the part of the world we are harvesting now, or doing, but We'll go and sell this. So we'll get a bit of an income. But I sold one load of, but uh, that was just soybeans. I sold one load and I got me like 60, 60, 70 grand or so. So that was a pretty sweet income. This will be less because we have a lot of corn here and the corn is not as profitable as the soybeans. Well, that's okay. I would like to buy this field too. I like this field. Looks good. And then we'd have sort of all of this field. These fields here would, which would be pretty decent, big farm. Why do I keep pressing that button? So, um, I don't think there's any traffic on this map, um, which is okay. I do. I really do like this map. I played like six hours on it now, and more, little more than six hours. And uh, I think this is a pretty cool map. I like it. This this style is very nice American style map, uh, which is sweet and it's it's just awesome. I like this a lot. you could buy our other farm so it, depending on who you are I, I think this is probably a really good map if you want to do multiplayer uh, people could ha own their own maps or own farms and you could just uh, help each other out or play next to each other and sort of compete I don't know if anybody is actually doing that but that could be dumb and it could be pretty sweet so this is a really cool map for multiplayer I would guess I don't think and I don't think anyone is playing multiplayer on it. Oh, I don't know. Maybe actually, I'm not lying. I might be lying there. I think maybe Snooky Snooky is playing multiplayer on it. Oh, anyway, it has one cell point here, which is, I guess, realistic in in that way or that sense too. load our soybeans first you'll get a bit of an income there the, the weird part is you can't see how much money you get if you look here you can't really see the money you get for it 32,000 uh, then we'll sell our corn interesting to see how much we're going to get for a full load of corn so 32,000 for almost a full load of soybeans last time it was like 35 so it reduced a little bit and now corn is 22 so pretty good anyway 53,000 is okay I guess Uh, 
Um, so they were good, good farming. Uh, I should probably get some sort of placeable sell point, so get more than one place to sell stuff. So some sort of competition between them going. Uh, I'm gonna look into that. Um, so Fifty-three. We could probably go and sell another one load. I can take. The the truck we have currently full of coin and go sell that coin so we do 20 20 44 thousand so that would bring us, us up to 90 about or so we do need to buy some fertilizer we do need to buy some um seed for its seeding next season um choices choices I would like to buy that cornfield. What to do? Oh, let's sell another load of corn. We don't have to pay this entire field by itself. We could take out a little small loan too, so that's not a biggie. thinking what to do ah we'll, we'll go over bring this over to the other part there and then we'll go and because have the cornfield we're doing we have this cornfield and another cornfield over here too which isn't ready for harvest yet and then we have a bunch a few soybeans fields soybean fields over here and empty it. Hard to see where, where I'm supposed to be, how close to, to the track I'm supposed to be. here so that's perfect we can un unload it at once basically and I started saying basically again I have these sort of words that I keep repeating to myself which are if you follow my channel you know, you know which words I'm talking about here maybe good let's unload that and we'll go and bring go and sell this load then To my big load. So sixty thousand liters. Uh, if so, twenty so should go around. Let's see, forty-four thousand. That's not a huge amount of money, but it brings us up to a third of what that field will cost. So, and we'll get probably. One or two loads out of it, so we'll get like like eighty grand out of it. So, and that's just the first harvest. We haven't ever, and we haven't even in, in basically made any sort of um, 
investment in it because it was it's there and it has its crop on it so I'm thinking it's a good investment that way because it, we haven't it hasn't cost us anything else uh, except the land cost which which is a bit more than we'll get off it the first time around but a few a few cycles down a few years in the game down the road will will make that that money back quite easily so I'm thinking we'll we'll buy this we'll go sell this and then we'll go buy that land I need to do that. This one here. Right. <laughs> Terribly sorry about my sneezing. So I have this mod that's uh, auto, mm, mm, auto uh, signal something you know it's in the description anyway uh, which turns off the turn signal when you re go back to the neutral position of the steering wheel so like it does in real life as a cool mod you should install it small mod but it greatly changes how you drive because now I can do I can use my signal uh, turn signal I don't have to think about turning it off when I go back to when I go back to my neutral to went after the turn basically. Sorry, kept kept getting my head wrapped around the whole thing while I was trying to say. Okay, let's go in here. So I wasn't going to do any of these mainstream um, sort of mainstream episodes but changed my mind so 33 uh, so it should hopefully still be at around 22,000 for half load yep it was I think it's kind of cool. The silo we have, it also uh, has a grain dryer. Not a function because that's not implemented in the game, but it has a grain dryer thing that goes on. And that's pretty cool, I think. Like that. We ended up in the middle of harvest season here on this map. Uh, actually, pretty cool, actually, I think. I think I've been look, looking at millennial, fa millennial farmers and it's interesting to see what a grain dryer is and how it works. I thought it would be more complicated. It looks extremely complicated. It's, it's still complicated, but the idea behind it is like, oh, it's like, okay, just try it pretty simply and then auger everything into the big silo. I think it's amazing how much things you can auger around without it seems that it seems to be be destroyed by the auger itself so that's pretty cool and the amount of uh, grain or corn you need to harvest to get a big size operation going or working uh, is pretty awesome So we'll go and I think we'll sell another load and that will bring us almost up to we'll just sell some loads and basically we'll and that will keep the rest of our harvest in our silos until we need more money because we have, I think we have enough in our silo here we'll go load it up I 
Ooh, this is pretty cool. Bunch of silos though. A lot of silos. So you can hear the sound from the grain dry there. They had more than 46,000 liters. I'm pretty sure I had more. I emptied like twice in here. Where's the rest of it? Why didn't I? I definitely thought I had more corn. Why have I sold? Maybe I sold it off. It seems to be somewhere else. If you look at here, we have 163,000 liters somewhere. But where is that owned? Total capacity, so that was the other total. It's weird, where could that be? I'm a little confused where it the rest of the corn is. We need to figure out that where it could be. Oh, sorry, I hit my house. <laughs> Damn it. Because I'm pretty sure I have more corn than uh, this. Well, I have it definitely. It says so in the, on the map there. But where could it be? strange actually and I can't really explain it where is my overloader I have a farm down there too would where where there's some silos but Pretty sure I don't have anything in there. I haven't unloaded anything in there anyway. Maybe I could. I don't know. Do where it could be or other. Where is our combine? Where did our combine go? Oh, here it is. It's, it's coming up here. It's like, where did it go? Where is the combine? It's just turned around. If I had been a little bit more faster, I could have unloaded it. I'll take it next time around. I, I did own that one over there too, that farm, maybe that's where where some of the grain is, or a little unsure. This is a bit confusing with different silos, if you don't own them all. Um, I think I'm going to go check that out anyway well i'll do that off screen so we'll see if i can figure out where it is uh, anyway thank you for watching this has been the first episode of let's play on rolling hills farming simulator 19 i'm andy and we'll see what we'll do on the next episode anyway thank you everyone have a great day take care bye bye